Hello, I'm Yuri Dukovny. And I'm Lior Polak, AWS Solutions Architects. In this very short video, we will demonstrate how to use AWS SSO with the new AWS CLI version 2 to get signed into AWS accounts and services from the command line with temporary account credentials using the same existing Azure AD identities. So I'm going to type in AWS 2 for CLI version 2 configure SSO. And the first thing it's going to ask me is to paste the SSO start URL. If you remember, we used this URL to access the SSO portal previously. So I'm going to paste it here and make sure you paste the entire URL, including the slash start at the end. Otherwise, this won't work. The next thing I have to specify is the region where AWS SSO is enabled. I'm going to select US East 1. The next thing that is going to happen after I'm going to press enter is that AWS SSO will open a browser window and take me to the IDP to sign in. Let's do that. I'm going to sign in with my user Jane Doe. And I'm going to be redirected back with my SAML assertion to single sign on and to authorize the AWS CLI session. I'm going to click that. And now, back in my AWS uh, CLI, I can see that I have the role selection menu where I can pick the role and account combination. It will allow me to create a CLI profile for that specific uh, role. I need to specify the default region for this profile. Basically, same as uh, you would have set up for a regular credential uh, configuration setup. I'm going to use the uh, UCIST one uh, here as well. And AWS CLI will create a new profile for me with the prefix of the role name and the suffix of the account number. And I can use this profile to specify which permission set I want to use when I will log into AWS SSO now. So the next thing I want to do is to use AWS CLI version 2 with this AWS profile. So let's call the STS endpoint and get our identity. And I'm going to copy the profile name and paste it over here. As you can see, I'm logged in or assumed with that role that AWS SSO created for me. And the identity comes from the IDP. This is great. Also, you use the browser to provide your credentials for Azure AD and to authorize your session. What happens if you are in the environment where a browser is not available? When you log in, AWS CLI generates a one-time token, which you can manually enter with the browser in a different environment and register that session. Awesome, great feature. So I can type it, for example, in my laptop and to authorize my session that way. Thank you for watching. It were Lior Polak and Yuri Dukovny with AWS Solutions Architecture. You can also watch our webinar, how to use Azure Active Directory with AWS SSO for more details.